everybody! Today we're going to learn how to use creative mode in Valheim. Unlike other games, it's not really a thing you just kind of click on or log into. You gotta set everything up. So this video is going to show you how to set it all up. Valheim in creative mode is just entirely building. That's basically what you do. You just have infinite resources and you just build whatever you want to build. Most of the really fancy builds you see are people building in creative mode. Before I get into this, I do want to give you a disclaimer that building something in creative mode is a great way to practice, but it's not the same. The act of building a castle when you have to go get everything, the experience produces a castle that has more meaning and depth to you, the builder. Whereas when you can infinitely build, you may find that you get kind of addicted to it and you don't really care and you stop being interested. And you should understand that the way around that is to v focus on infinite building with creative mode as practice. You're becoming a better builder so that when you play in the regular game where you have to get the resources for everything, you can build more interesting things within the limitations that you come across when you play with your friends and all sorts of things. That's how you should play it if you really want to have fun, okay? That being said, this video is all about getting creative mode set up in Valheim. Let's get into it. So first off, you'll need to enable dev commands, right? So in order to enable dev commands like I just did, you have to be able to open the console. But you can't just open the console. You need to change a setting in Steam. So without Valheim running, go into your games library, then go down to Valheim, go to properties, and then you see this area near launch options, type dash console, and then exit this and save it. Once you've done that, when you launch Valheim, you'll be able to press F5 and this console will come up. Once you've set it up, you need to type dev commands and you'll get a command that says dev commands true. You can basically turn it on and off. What this does is enable a host of certain things that are very useful for a builder. First off is fly. So let's enable fly and see, look at that. You can build as tall as you want to build because you have fly mode on. A quick note on fly, which allows you to just fly wherever you want. You should keep in mind that the game isn't meant to be seen from that way. So if you build something that looks beautiful in fly mode, you might find that when you turn it off, and you're on the ground where the most of the game takes place, it doesn't look as cool. So it's really important when you're building to pay attention to the perspective of your character on the floor. I can barely build anything. Well, don't worry, because all that you need to do is type debug mode, and then debug mode enables all these crazy hotkeys that give you superpowers. One of those crazy hotkeys is B. And now, when I open a menu, you can see every single item is available. Although, irritatingly, they're all grayed out, and that always gets me. Like, I just feel sad when I look at it. And then I can basically just keep building, even though I don't have a stone cutter and I don't have the stone. So you can see that I can just build infinitely that way. And this is the gist of it. You use fly mode, right? Because normally you can't really go up and build roofs that easily. And also you use this no placement cost mode. And then you've basically created a creative mode in Valheim because you can build whatever you want and if you want to repair something all you have to do is press tab and just click here and it'll repair everything and this way you can build stuff if you're entering you know contests or any kind of images you see about big huts and that kind of thing it's almost always people building this way so one of the reasons they can build so much is because they don't really play to be honest <laughs> like you know how a lot of us builder people are 
when you go hang out with them, they, they don't want to go off an adventure because they just want to build stuff. It's really how it is, you know? Some people build, some people go on adventures, some people do both. Now that you know some of these basic tricks about building, let's learn some other tricks that are useful to you who is probably interested in building. Have you ever noticed that when you build stuff in Valheim, there's these kind of these snap points? Let's show you what I'm talking about. Like, see this? It's moving around on the ground. It just goes wherever I'm pointing, right? But when it's near another object, it kind of just clicks into place sometimes. That's called a snap point. And if you've ever built something in Valheim, then you've used these before, right? I'm gonna put this stone wall right here, and I wanna put a beam in the exact middle of the wall, right? I mean, right here, look, I can just put this here, right? And boom, beam right in the middle of that block. But then if I come over here, uh, it doesn't do that. See, there's a snap point there, and there's one. But where's the middle one? Well, watch this, boom. And now, oh, look at that. Now there's a snap point. So if you find that you can't use the snap point that you want, sometimes all you have to do is just build a temporary kind of other thing, right? Like these two here. And then boom, now I have the exact snap point in the middle. I encourage you to use these kind of one meter beams. They're really useful at making the snap point kind of exactly where you want. They're really useful to use these one meter little beams and make snap points wherever you need them. There's a few more useful console commands that we'll go over. If you've noticed it's constantly daytime and it hasn't changed, that's because I typed TOD 0.4. TOD stands for time of day. And it seems to also actually just freeze time at that point. So it's really useful when you're making videos or you're trying to take a photo and you want to keep the light the way that it is. So any number between zero and one will switch to a certain time of day. I usually like using 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. It makes everything nice and bright. But now if you want to clear the rain, all you have to do is type ENV clear. So normally when you're like making content or taking photos, you'll go in, type and clear, and then also change the time of day to whatever you need it to be. Have you ever been in this situation? You're just trying to peacefully build and there's like a billion enemies just, oh, they're just really ruining your day. You, you know what I mean? Well, don't worry, there's another command you can use that'll solve all of your worries here. All you gotta do is pull up your console and type kill all before they kill you. Ah, oh, they killed me. But I got them. See? Power of the console. Now, another thing that happens in creative mode when you're building is uh, you destroy a bunch of stuff, and every time you destroy something, well, it drops a bunch of shit in the floor. So you end up getting a bunch of crap everywhere. Like, really, I mean everywhere. And you kind of need to deal with this. So all you have to do is open the console, open the console, and type clear. That's going to clear the whole console. And all of the items are going to be there because that didn't do what I thought it would do. Now you're going to type remove drops. Boom, and that is going to get rid of all of the excessive drops in your area. Don't worry about picking them up one by one. Oh god, I wasted so much time. Now, you might want to find a perfect spot. For example, let's say that you, I don't know, are looking for a specific biome. Let's say you want to find a meadows or a plains or a swamp then it kind of helps to have the map visible so you don't have to go explore and look for it, right? As we mentioned earlier, this method, this mentality of playing Valheim is all about just focusing entirely on building. So everything else you just rush through and do as fast as possible, right? Trying to find the perfect mountain or this kind of thing um, just so you can build stuff. 
And that can actually be kind of complicated, the process of finding a good area. So you should kind of scout things out using fly mode. But you can reveal your map by typing explore map, and that's going to reveal everything. Um, again, don't do this on a character that you're actually trying to have fun on because you're going to screw yourself over. Always be warned. And the final console command is go to. Go to is basically how you teleport, and it's how you find different areas. If you ever want to find the builder's beach without watching the video I have all about the builder's beach, then you can just type fly, make sure it's enabled. And then once fly is enabled, then type go to negative 10,000 and then zero. And that will take you to the entrance of the builder's beach. Here we are, we're at like the edge of the world, right? So all you gotta do is turn fly on, go over the edge of the world, go over the edge, go down, clip into the water here, and then go forward, and then boom! This look familiar? That is the Builder's Beach, 3D. You'll find that people who make really organized, pretty structures in Valheim, they don't usually just start sort of building, right? Like building stuff. They actually make uh, a basically a, a frame or a foundation. So you can start by making a 2D shape. And that's all that you need to think about is make a 2D shape, maybe something simple if you really don't want to do anything crazy, like a, a little box, just like this, see? And then, well, you made your shape, so now you gotta put a floor in your box, right? Yeah! There's something about floor tiles in Valheim when they're surrounded by wood beams, it just feels right. Like, watch this, watch this. You see, you see this? Uh, it, uh, what have I done? It's just, I, I can't, I can't believe I let that slip. Oh, oh, that's better. Oh, 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 yeah, that's the stuff. You see that? That's, that's what I'm talking about. It's little things, these little simple shapes. And trust me, just the things you can do by starting off with a very, very basic shape, even if it's something rudimentary, like a little square. You can build some really, really cool stuff that you didn't even realize you could. Because remember, there's a builder inside every Valheim player. Just, they just haven't come out to play yet. You haven't gotten unleashed. It's like, you know, in an anime when the main character finds a dark cave or something and then they go into the cave and they have to fight themselves and then they come out and then they're super ungodly strong from that point on. That's you playing Valheim but you haven't built yet. You have a destiny. You have a future of building and creativity that'll bleed into the rest of your life and show you how some games can actually heal the damages that this society has put in you. So good luck, thanks for watching, and if you want more content like this, then please subscribe. I have new Valheim videos once every three days, published at 10 a.m. Nicaraguan time. And if you want to support my channel, then consider checking out my tutorial about setting up a dedicated Valheim server so that your friends can join, build stuff, and do whatever they want, even if you're not playing. It's a great way to play Valheim and is still going to be cheaper than something like World of Warcraft or any of these monthly subscriptions. It's a great option, and it also helps me earn some money from these videos. So if you really want to support me, check that out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!